Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting Watford Squad Finance as an overall setup in the brand new squeaky clean FM18. Uh, if this is your first time here you might want to hit that subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all FM related content going forward. I'm trying to get each and every Premier League side up on the tube for you to check out so that you can make your decisions uh, when you do decide to play the game. Uh, which teams that uh, have the right resources for you. Let's waste no more time and jump straight in with this overview. So that's right, folks, back once again with another overview, taking a look at one of my favourite teams, Watford. I used to live in the area, Middlesex, down Northwood, Rystep Way. Um, so these guys got a soft spot in my heart. Used to, uh, went to see them a couple of times when they were in the championship. Um... They even did make their first premiership appearance whilst I was down there. Uh, didn't really, I should have really took the opportunity to watch more of them, but I didn't. But anyway, they have started the season promising in the real world. Uh, let's hope they, they continue. And they've got a cracking manager. Uh, and I love, I love the ground. It's right in the core of, of, of Watford Centre. Um, still feels like a small, small, small town club. Last time I was there, anyway. Um, but yeah, good setup. I'm gonna, gonna get back into the to the overview here before I uh, go down memory lane. Anyway, let's hit on the home screen and take you have a look, see what's in store for Watford. Uh, Pre-season, nothing too crazy. Got a uh, visit to AFC Wimbledon uh, and then a, a trip up north to Berwick Rangers. Meanwhile, they finish up their pre-season with a home tie against Guimarães of Portugal. Um, so not a bad um, short and sweet pre-season. So nothing too crazy in this Chinese-American business. Keeping it local, keeping it real. Uh, as for your under-18 squad, let's have a look and see what players we have. Promising players of the future at Watford. Young Spanish guy here, Jesus Cruz. I'm just picking these at random. They could be they, they could be cack. They could be decent. Uh, he's got his face in the game, so that means something. Um, Probably, I probably all have their face in the game, to be fair. Uh, potential ability, potential three-star. Currently, nothing to write home about. Marian Huger from Portugal. Uh, potential three-star, current three-star. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, an Irish Irish front line. Let's have a look at the most valuable player in the under-18s. Daniel Phillips, 16 years old. Value 21.5, potential four star. So um, this could be a guy to keep an eye on. He's got some good uh, attributes in the physical section. This is what you need. Good pace, natural finish. His work rate is is okay. Could be a little higher. Um, maybe get his head screwed on a little bit tighter. And then uh, maybe he will deliver and become that four star. Moving into the under 20 freeze. This is where you'll see a lot, a whole host of different kind of players. Look at that, straight off the bat. Costel Pantilamon, current Romanian goalkeeper, valued at 9 million, sitting in the reserves. Now that just screams for, you know, you've got to take care of this business. Take care of a lot of these players that, you know, are in here for whatever reason. I don't know if they just didn't fit in uh, uh, with the current system. But you've got a lot of value and a lot of money in this in the under 23s look at that stefan okara 11 million italian guy if you're not going to play him get rid of him you know you could you could you um in fact i probably missed your transfer transfers details i'll go back to that in a minute but that is 11 million that could be could be handy for you all that another one isaac success he hasn't been much of a success um pretty pretty poor to me honest with you so that could be one for uh, the outward market. Mario Zarate, another one for 13 million. Uh, you know, that's money in the bank right there. You just got to just got to find a buyer. He's out for three months though. He's on loan in the Middle East. Who else do we have? Another one, Dimitri Folkwa. Not too sure how you pronounce that game. French wing back, um, valued at 7.25 million. In fact, let's take a look at who is the most valuable player. In the reserves. Norden Aramat, 14.5 million. I've mentioned these other ones, put them on. Marimpa, transfer listed. Uh, Jamaican centre back, 30 years old, knocking on 9 million. Look at that. I think it's like 10 players right there. All valued above 5 million. Tommy Hoban, 
we know about Tommy Hogan. He had a, he had a decent spell with us. He, he, it was cut short with injury, and maybe just maybe if he had stuck around, we probably wouldn't have had to play uh, uh, donkeys in centre back, and we probably would have survived in the division. But we couldn't prevent it. Anyway, let's take a look at the ma the main squad and have a look at what we've got on disposal. Where is the guy at the moment? Richardson. 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 That's how we pronounce it. 17 million. He started Premier League football uh, on a high note. Uh, Daryl Jean-Matt, he's a quality player. Picked up from the Geordies. Um, and goal. Gomez, 36 years old. His value does not give him justice. He's a good, decent keeper. Bit of a heavy one too. 200 pounds. Um, who else do we have? Ben Watson, getting on a bit. Valued at 4 million. I didn't know he was only 31. I thought he was like 35, 36. Andre Gray, picked up from them scumbags. Finally, he's probably giving himself a good old cleanse because he's out of that um, infested uh, background. Troy Deeney, 24 million. Decent all-round uh, squad, especially up front. Let's have a look at the value of the players. Roberto Pereira is your top man, 29 million. He's worth Eti Kapuye. Not too sure how you pronounce his first name. Again, uh, valued near 25 million. So you've got a lot of quality in this squad. Will Hughes, cleverly, decent side. It is a decent side. They should be pushing uh, top end of the table. Let's have a look at the transfer situation or the contract situation, should I say. Ben Watson, like I said, mentioned earlier, 31 years old only. His uh, contract is up at the season end. Halabas, his uh, contract is also done at the end of the season. Gomez has got one more year. Miguel Britos, another contract you want to probably revisit um, if they fit in your plans. Speaking of plans, let's take a look at the financial clout. Only 8 million for Watford and a transfer and wage budget of 1.1 million. You can sometimes tweak it and push it a little bit higher to 9.5 million. And if you so choose, you could probably even make a board request straight off the bat. But they are likely to deny it. Anyway, let's take a look at the competition situation. What did that say back there? The club are on a course to pass European. Okay, boring. Um, let's get back to it. The Premier League. The board expects you to finish mid-table. The board expects you to get to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Uh, the Football Manager Cup. Not sure what that is, but uh, they're in it. Uh, and the Carabao Cup, they expect you to reach the fourth round. What is this? Football Manager Cup. This must be just a, uh, a friendly cup between some local sides. That's the team report. Feel free to pause and, and read over that information there. Squad depth. Your left back area is something of concern. The rest of the park is pretty decent. I think you've got a, a, a decent... Uh, strike setup, maybe an extra player here because I'm not sure about this fella. Um, he's, he's he's cited as as a defender, so I wouldn't even consider him in there. So you probably got Troy Deeney, Andrew Gray, and Rick Carlson, and Rick Carlson's probably more suited on the wings um, than up front. But you know it's an option. Uh, as for the dynamics of the club. Atmosphere is pretty decent. Obviously, these two will uh, develop as your time stays at the club. Your team leaders, Troy Deeney, wears the armband. Gomez can be his deputy. Uh, looking elsewhere, Craig Cathart, Tom Cavalli, and Prodal are possible future skippers of the club should these two decide to move on. As for your social groups, uh, this core social group up here are the potential tutors or mentors. Um, whatever they call them in FM18 for your youngsters. So you'll be looking to those to kind of uh, guide some of the youngsters, maybe put them in the right direction. As for your happiness, uh, who's the happiest guy? Kapue is happy. He's very happy. He's wanted by some big player, big team. So um, he may be on the move. Kabul, Jonas Kabul with his injury. Only 31, according to the, the folks at Sports Interactive. He's in a superb mood. Um, but yeah, no major areas. Maybe this guy, he's got fair, you know, fair morale. Um, but overall, not bad indeed. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for you. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League side for the next few days. However, there's a team out there, someplace, somewhere around the world that you want me to check out and give an overview. Again, 
let me know in the comments section below and I'll try and do it for you. Moving forward, once the initial craziness of FM18 and the beta calms down a bit, I do plan to do a couple game saves. So please check back on those. Uh, be sure to stick around. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.